morning after I returned to my parents' home. I'll take it easy today. The sound of rain deepens the house's pleasant, nostalgic atmosphere. Hmm? It's Kyoko. She's hanging around near the entryway. Did she come to visit? So flashy. But coming face to face with my family is awkward, I guess. Back in the day, she used to stand outside the house and shout my name. Hey. Oh. I'm feeling bored. Want to wander around over there? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but being able to see Kyoko again made me feel just a little relieved. We set out together, without any good destination in mind. As always, Kyoko was concerned about being seen by other people. Maybe we should avoid places with a lot of people. Hey, karaoke, huh? Oh. Um... It was still raining, so we decided to check it out for a bit. I wonder how many years it's been since I last did karaoke with Kyoko. I remember she used to sometimes drag me to karaoke when we were in high school. Alright, wanna sing something? Huh? Sing? Yeah, I mean, it's karaoke. Uh, right, right. Is she okay? In the end, we didn't really get into karaoke, and ended up using the time to just chat. Y you know... Is it really okay for you to be hanging out with me? Why would it not be? It's just that I'm kind of a woman too. And if you, if you had a girlfriend, it, it could get messy. But I don't have anyone like that, so it's fine for me. What are you saying? What kind of flighty person do you take me for? I don't have a girlfriend or anything like that. <laughs> right. No, of course not. Well, that's not exactly the nicest response. Uh, but I'll let it slide. Sorry. I'm sorry. I am a little relieved to hear that Kyoko doesn't have a boyfriend. 